we have to now take up the module for editing the invoice now uh, before proceeding for the coding let us see what is the desired output and what our plan will be this is the book that you will get along with these videos customer details page is shown when you search for a customer we have seen editing the customer profile we have seen the issue invoice also and uh, now it is time to perform the code for this edit when the user wants to edit the invoice for say order number 16 this is our objective and uh, we, we can also see now this is what uh, the plan will be here you have a stack of edit buttons when the administrator clicks on this edit button he'll be taken to a new form for editing the invoice the name of the person against whom the invoice has been issued will be shown somewhere here the product already invoiced for will already be pre-selected here and the amount will be shown here already like for what amount the invoice original invoice is then a save button when he clicks the save button he should be taken back to the same page from where he came and uh, uh, there is one more thing in this that he can uh, there are two things rather first thing I'll t tell is that this form was already used for creating a new invoice and now we are to make use of the same partial template for editing an existing invoice we created an invoice form editor template and used it for new invoice and the same form will be used for editing the invoice this is the recommended modular design practice although a bad design would quickly think of typing all the things here and typing there that would also work but the design would be bad so we created an template in the editor templates folder for this we'll reuse the same second thing that this edit invoice is reached from two locations first is when an edit button on this page is clicked the second if you remember the previous video lecture we were showing an edit button on the print page also that is at the time of printing if the user wants to still make some changes he should be allowed to come back because he is previewing the story and in case he finds some mistake has occurred he can always come back so this page will be reached from two locations and when the save is clicked you have to go back to the correct location so how will we handle this the technique which we use is that when the user comes from the print preview page it sends a query string variable called redirect URL and it contains some parameter like print print page or something like this this parameter will be read and in case this parameter exists and has the value print page then he instead of being taken to this page here he'll be taken back to the print print page 
Query strings are always helpful in such situations. They pass some information that can be queried and used to perform some custom processing. So to summarize, this edit will take you to an edit invoice form. There a template is used to generate the form and when he clicks the save button, redirect URL parameter is to be read and the user taken to the appropriate page either this one or the print page one. So let us now come back to our project and see. We were here the last time print invoice and you can see that on this page also we had a action link edit edit invoice invoice controller and edit invoice action and what we are passing we are passing two parameters one is the id of the invoice being edited and the second is the redirect And in case this parameter is uh, available, it will be detected in the edit invoice. And if it is there, then you will be taken back to this particular page. Redirect2 is a custom parameter that we have adjusted in the root values here. So there will be two root parameters, one is id and one is redirect2. And this one will go as a query string and ID will also go as a query string. So these can be then detected on the action method there. We will now begin to write the code. Let us start so. Now where have to we, where have we to add that action method? We can see the coding of this edit. This is what we coded for this edit. Edit invoice is the name of the action method and invoice is the name of the controller. So we have to put it in the invoice controller. There we'll add an action method called edit invoice. And by the way, I can show you the desired output also. So it is this sort of story that will be visible. Edit invoice number 16. Invoice details, customer, product, amount and save on success take back to the uh, search page. So let us now come to our invoice controller and add this action method there. We can start typing it under the print invoice action in the invoice controller. We will start to type it here. Edit invoice. It receives ID of the invoice being edited as a root value from where this one you can see and we will make use of this ID to search the details of that order from the database and present those details on the new view. TBL order T is null. This T will order is will be passed to the view for edit invoice so that the existing details can be shown there. Filling the view bag, this code we wrote at the top, fill products, this will fill the view bag for the orders, uh, for the products. This will include the information for the user because the user's email has to be shown for whom this invoice was generated. Then uh, picking up that order basically to show it on the view, passing T to the view. Now let us add a view, right click, add view, edit invoice. And here we'll have to write the code for the view. So first of all, let us write the model. And 
edit invoice for the model id auto primary key that is the which invoice we are editing so it will display something like uh, uh, this edit invoice number 16 the partial for the menu invoice details h2 then invoice form the template is reused here so that this will actually display the entire invoice form from the template that we created we can have a look at the template where it is editor templates invoice form this will be shown into this one and this one this is being used in new invoice also and for editing the invoice also this is the form that we created in one of our previous lectures okay this one looks like a duplicate so we'll remove this line now let us run and see whether we can see a filled form or not we can click on login search a customer a b search this is the search form that we get click on this invoice edit yes it is properly filled up validations are also working and cancel button is also working now what we have to do is we have to write the code for the http post so that this record can be ultimately updated in the database coming back to our project we have to write the http post for this one for edit invoice so we'll write it here http post here we are uh, writing three parameters one is for the id of the invoice that is being edited which will be there and tbl order containing the new values and uh, a redirect to if this one is available this will be available through the query string and we know it will be available when you are coming from the print preview or from the printing page we can write tbl order tb we'll now be searching this uh, tbl order object from the database and uh, from whatever the new values are we read and put them correspondingly into the tb this is searched from the database from the ctx.tbl orders and its values are updated from what is coming from the parameters product code foreign key is equal to and then you write ctx.save changes and finally you will work for redirect to if print invoice is double equal to redirect then return redirect to action print invoice and you send back this id the id for which you are trying to print the invoice because print invoice action method it expects an id as a parameter you can have a look at it this is what i am talking then if it is not so then else that means you are coming to your else that is you are coming to your search customer action method back and it expects a parameter of the type email to search and uh, depending on the parameter it will requery the whole database and show you the altered values so this is the code for your edit invoice 
HTTP post you will get the source code with this video let us now run and see and verify whether things are working or not click to login search click we'll edit this invoice invoice number 16 edit change this amount to 28000 and click on save and it is altered so this means it is working similarly we can check the print preview also let us generate a new invoice laptop click on save this is the new invoice we are not happy with this this was by mistake 30,000 come back edit you are brought back and change it into 21,000 and click on save and you are brought back to the print invoice once again so this one is working absolutely fine and uh, in our next module we'll talk about the last 10 invoices which is not wired click on you'll get error and uh, we'll work on this one in our next lecture thanks